Hello everyone. Uh, today I continue with my uh, series of videos that I have been making on uh, use of ship's crane. So cranes that are found on ships and used for cargo operations. Uh, I hope you watched my previous videos in this series. If not, then you can find the links to those videos in the description section below. Uh, today's video is a short video. It will focus only on uh, a different type of crane that is found on ships. These cranes are called gantry cranes and you can see a picture of it on the screen. Uh, but I'll show you different pictures as well and uh, try to explain the use of gantry cranes and how they are used on ships and a uh, couple of different types of gantry cranes. I will also talk about the normal gantry cranes and also the U gantry. Uh, which has a cable trolley without a fixed chip. So we'll talk about two types of cranes and I'll show you some pictures and hopefully uh, it will help you to understand uh, uh, the concept of gantry cranes on ships. So gantry cranes, if you're not very familiar with uh, these type of cranes, they are actually uh, deck cranes. They are found on the deck of the ships and they can travel over the cargo along the length of the ship. So they travel in a longitudinal direction. All right, so in the previous picture also you saw that the crane was very close to the accommodation, but it can travel all the way to the front of the vessel. Uh, it, it covers basically all the hatch covers, all the cargo holes. So many different types of cranes can be attached to the gantry and uh, ships without own cargo gear, they often use a simple gantry crane as a hatch cradle, uh, cradle that would uh, that means uh, lifting the hatch cover, uh, shifting the hatch covers or uh, using it for the cargo operations, lifting containers and so forth, mainly used for containers. So gantry cranes are specifically are uh, used for the handling of cargo and they can be distinguished into actually three main types of gantry cranes. So gantry cranes with a revolving crane on top, uh, gantry cranes with a movable cable trolley with jib and gantry cranes with a double portal and cable trolley without a jib. So what you see here is the on your left is a front view of the gantry crane with a cable trolley and a fixed jib. And on the right, you see a side view of the gantry crane with a cable trolley and a fixed jib. So gantry cranes are always uh, sensitive to trim and uh, two degrees often is the maximum. Uh, because you know if you have excessive trim then the gantry crane um, uh, may be shift aft or uh, shift forward depending on of course where the crane is uh, where the trim is if you are down by the head uh, excessive down by the head and it's not safe for gantry crane operation or if you are excessive down by stern that's not good either so cranes that have a cable trolley are even more sensitive and in this case a list of two degrees is also the maximum uh, what you see on your screen is again a multi-purpose ship with a hatch cradle. If there is a revolving crane on top, uh, this maximum may be a little bit higher, but it will never be more than five degrees. So the four point suspension of the hoist uh, gives a gantry crane an excellent load control. Uh, this ensures that the load stays in line so that it can be deposited at the right location. A disadvantage of gantry cranes is their massive weight that shifts the center of gravity to a higher point and this reduces the stability and the carrying capacity. An advantage is that the ship hardly needs any strengthening, only the guide rails on deck need a strong foundation. A characteristic of gantry cranes is the large reel on the side for the feeder cable. So the portal uses train wheels to travel over the guide rails. The traveling part uses pinions to mesh into a tooth track, which is attached to a longitudinal beam, which is usually the foundation for the rails. Now clamps on the set of wheels fit around the rails without actually touching them in order to prevent the gantry from tripping over. During the voyage, heavy gantry cranes are lifted free from the rails by hydraulic jacks in order not to damage the wheels or the ball bearings and rails by the ship's vibration. So ideally I should have shown you some more pictures but I could not find any pictures anywhere and I apologize for that. So basically you have to remember that these gantry cranes, they actually run on a um, on kind of uh, uh, wheels when they are used for operations. But when they are not used, uh, they are lifted a little bit higher uh, on which they normally sit uh, to reduce the damage uh, that may result from vibration of the vessel during uh, its voyage at sea. Uh, finally, I'll talk about the U-gantry. 
with a cable trolley without a fixed jib you can see it in the picture here as well now the forces in a crane are distributed more equally in gantry cranes with two beams uh, as compared to one beam uh, so with, if it if a gantry crane has two beams and a cable trolley without a jib uh, the the forces are more distributed compared to a gantry crane with a fixed or rotating jib and there are more torsional forces uh, with a fixed or rotating jib so this allows the structure to be only slightly heavier than structures with only one beam so if you have two beams of course the weight of the crane becomes higher uh, it's slightly heavier compared to cranes with only one beam that you saw in your previous slide however the crane cabin is should be placed higher than uh, in the other two types of gantry cranes because the load always remains some distance below it uh, similar to the other types of gantry crane this type of crane can uh, be best be used for lifting containers as you see in the picture here they can also be used to lift heavy parcels of cargo or such as timber cargo or paper cargo or rolls of thin steel or any other type of bundled cargo so you can use it but you can see that uh, these type of cranes uh, they, they have a large impact on the overall displacement of the vessel on the stability of the vessel and the cargo operations they take up a lot of space sometimes they also obstruct the view from the bridge uh, not, not, not really that you can't keep a lookout but they do they, there is an impact especially when you can't load the cargo once so overall it has uh, some disadvantages but the advantage is that uh, ships can carry out their own cargo operations you need a uh, very uh, good crane operator sometimes it's provided from the shore uh, most of the times i'll be very honest it is provided from the shore and uh, ship crew do not use it unless they are using it only for lifting like hatch covers or shifting little making small shifting operations because the liability associated with uh, these operations is very high if the ship's uh, crew is using it and they do a damage uh, then of course uh, the the it's frowned upon the insurance will not be very happy about it that's why most of the times uh, operator from the shore comes in who is a specialized operator they have been highly trained in the operations and they do the operations and they do the cargo operations on the vessel all right so i'll stop the video here don't want to make the video too long unnecessarily i just thought because i was making a series of videos on gantry cranes this could be a or rather rather ship's cranes uh, gantry crane is also a type of ship crane and it will be handy for you to know about it especially if you are sailing on ships that do not have ship's cranes this is a good a video for you to just enhance your knowledge about cargo operations that happen on uh, general cargo or ca container vessels especially when you are going for your oral examinations so all the best guys with your studies and let me know what you thought about this video i look forward to your feedback bye for now